So this is Jared Blair and Randy Gannell, and we're showing you today how to use different methods of scanning student work into GradeCam. So today, for the first one, we're going to show you the HoverCam, which you'll notice the HoverCam has been connected by USB to the computer. We'll go ahead and click on the assignment that we're going to scan, and you'll notice that if everything's been connected correctly, it should automatically turn the camera on. And then there's Randy's hand. Yeah, perfect. Hello. And so what we'll do now is we'll just show you we're going to place the first worksheet under. And as we do that, you'll actually see the student work come up and give it a moment and it will scan the document and we'll have that data imported. So we'll do it one more time. Place that under. Make sure you line up the solid square outline around the bubbles. And there we go. Okay, this is Randy Gannell. Uh, we're going to show you another option for scanning into GradeCam. Um, this time we're going to show you using the built-in webcam on a laptop or a, web or a Chromebook or some type of device. So if you see Jared's going to Go back into the assignment, see him on the screen, and we'll show you that basically you just hold up the form to the camera, zoom back out, um, still framing the box in the camera so you can see it. You notice the preview down there with Jared in the, in the webcam, um, and you just hold it up to the laptop. A lot of times this also scans a little bit faster than the hover cam. And that's it. And you'll notice that Jared's verifying right now. Um, this shows when the bubbles pop up, the student has more than one answer bubbled. Um, he's confirming which answers they selected. This is Randy and Jared with option three for scanning into GradeCam. Um, we're going to show you, uh, using Jared's iPhone, um, how to do scanning through the app. So the GradeCam Go app can be downloaded for any Apple product at the Apple Store. Um, or for any other product at the Google Play Store. So if you go ahead and click that open, I've already logged in, so you'll see, well, you'll have to actually log in with your credentials, and then you'll see your list of assignments. So I'll go ahead and click on the assignment that I'd like to grade. And unlike the hover cam and the laptop camera, you actually have to activate the camera by pressing the black camera button at the top. And that will open the camera, and you'll see some lines kind of trying to scan something. So if I go ahead and put the grade um, cam sheet underneath, it will grade the student. And then what's really nice about this is you just can just kind of go through and it's actually very quick. And then as we saw with the laptop, we can verify student bubbles just by unclicking what they did not want. And that's our third option using the app.